Now the next setting is the face sizing. To enable that option, you have to first click on the surface selecting command and then click on any surface of your geometry. After selecting the shown surface under the hot type section, you will see that there are two options available here, the element size and, and the sphere of influence. As the sphere of influence setting is normally used for the vertex and for the corners of any geometry, therefore we only talk about the element size here. As you select the element size in front of the type, you get to define the size of the mesos placed over this surface. For example, enter the value of 0.01 for the sizes of the elements that are placed over the selected surface. After we generate the selected mesh, you can easily see that the size of the elements over the selected surface are obviously smaller than the elements placed over other surfaces. And finally, to apply the body sizing, we simply have to click on the volume selecting command and click on the body of our box, and then click on the apply button in front of our geometry. Again, you can see that in front of the type, you have two options of element size and a sphere of influence. By, for example, selecting the element size, you can control the size of each 3D element placed on our geometry. For example, if we enter the value of 0.1, the elements created over our geometry would all have a size of 0.1 meter. There is another point that should be mentioned, which is that all the options that we went through so far uh, were with the adaptive sizing on. If we disable this adaptive sizing, two other options would become available under the sizing section. Now here we expand the sizing section and disable adaptive sizing option. Now that we've disabled the adaptive sizing, we go back to the sizing section and start with the edge sizing. As was mentioned before, you have to select an edge in front of the geometry here. After applying the selected edge in front of the geometry, this time if you click in front of the top, you would see that along with the previous options that we went through, another option with the name of factor of global size would appear. Now, when you select the factor of global size in front of the type, it will ask you for an element size factor. Now, using this factor, you can control the size of your mesh cells, for example, placed over the selected edge, based on the element size that you've defined in the global setting section. Now, if I click on the mesh to view the global settings, under the default section in front of the element size, you can see that the software has a default value for each element almost equal to 8.66 meter. Now if I go back to the edge sizing, in front of the element size factor, you can see that if we enter the value of 1, the size of each element defined here has the same value as the element size defined in the global settings. But if we for example change this value to 0.5, the missile would have half of the size that was defined in the global setting section, which is almost equal to 4.33. But instead of 0.5, you can see that we've entered the value of 0.3 so that you can have a better view of how the missile sizes change. Or we even can change this value to a value like 2, uh, so that the newly generated mesh cells would be twice bigger as the default element size. Also, you would have this uh, option of factor of global size available if you, for example, select uh, to enable the face selecting and face sizing option as well.
However, since in this section we are going to talk about the body of influence option, we are going to select the body as our geometry. After selecting the body of the box, in front of the tab you can see that another option with the name of body of influence this time would appear. Now in order to usefully and correctly use this command, we're going to have to make some changes inside our geometry. Therefore, we are going to close the instance meshing software and start the design motor software again. The change that we are going to make is very simple. Click on create, go over primitives and then select cylinder. On the low left side of the software window in front of the operation, make sure that you've changed the add material to add frozen so that we can have two different parts and bodies. Also, if you expand the part section under the tree outline, you can see that we have two different bodies here. Now, the changes that we wanted to make uh, to our geometry is finished here, therefore we close the design motor software and start the ANSYS machine. Now when you double click on the mesh module, a new window will appear asking for your permission to read the new geometry. Now before continuing with our body sizing option, we have to unsuppress the patch confirming method so that we can create tetrahedral mesh cells inside our geometry. After unsuppressing the patch confirming method, make sure that as for the selected geometry, you select the cylinder as well. Uh, we also suppress the body sizing so that we can create an initial mesh for our geometry so that you can compare the initial mesh with the newly generated mesh when we apply the body of influence option. Now here you can see that when we create the initial mesh for our geometry because we had two different and separate bodies here, on the corner of the cylinder, the mesh cells related to the cylinder and the mesh cells related to the box are put inside each other. But using the body of influence option, we are going to not only fix this problem, but to make some interesting changes as well. To apply the mentioned changes, we unsuppress the body sizing. Next, in front of the type, make sure that you select the body of influence option. Now, when you select the body of influence in front of the type, you can see that underneath it, the software will ask you for body of influence. But before selecting this body, we have to select the correct part in front of the geometry. Because we want to create a smaller and denser mesh over the corner of our cylinder where we have our box over it, uh, our main geometry would be the cylinder. Therefore, we are going to select the cylinder as for our geometries. And then, as for the bodies of influence, we're going to select the box. And finally, in front of the element size, we enter the size of the missiles that we want to generate over the quarter of our cylinder. Now that our mesh is generated, if I click on the mesh button, you can see that not only do we have a smaller mesh over the corner of our cylinder, but also the box is removed, meaning that the box has only been used to define the places and the section of our cylinder where we want to have a smaller or bigger mesh cells.